Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make paper bunting and it's a follow-on from the scallop shapes video I posted recently. So you could actually combine the two techniques but on this one we're just going to do the bunting. So I'm going to jump straight in, I'm going to come over here and choose this star and polygon icon and then up here make sure we're on star and we want three corners. I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard and drag out a triangle and it doesn't really matter what size but by holding the control key down it keeps this top level straight. So now I'm going to select it, I'm going to come over here, I'm working in inches, I've got the padlock unlocked, if yours is locked just left click once to unlock it. I'm going to come over here and make the width 6 inches and hit return and I'm going to come in here and make the height 8 inches and that's now our basic pennant. Select, select it and then I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and that puts a duplicate directly on the top. I'm going to hold my control key down and while I'm holding my control key down I'm going to drag this circle over to the right hand side and by holding the control key down it won't move any other way other than side to side and I'm just going to position it roughly where I think I'm going to want it based on this top line of this bunting. I'm going to select both and I'm going to do object and group. I'm just going to come down here and right click and, and make them red. Only so you can see them on the video, you don't need to do this. Now I'm going to drag an imaginary box around them both. Come up here and open the align icon and I'm going to hit align centre on vertical and that puts these two directly centred to here. I'm going to hold the control key down and bring them down in a straight line and position them. While they're just selected I'm going to come to object and ungroup. One thing I forgot to do right at the beginning just left click on the triangle only and do path union. Then drag an imaginary box around both and do path combine and you should get that. So just to recap, you draw your triangle, make it the size that you want it, while it's selected do path union. Then Draw your circles, you can make them the size that you want, I just did these by eye, but you can again select them and, and use the um, sizes up here. Duplicate, space the duplicate out, select everything and path combine. So that's now your basic pennant. Just going to right click and duplicate that and move it off to the side for a minute. Now I want to make another one. So going to come back to the star shape, I'm still on three corners, hold the control key down and just drag out a triangle. Now this original one was six inches wide and eight inches high, so I'm going to make this one four inches wide, I think we'll try, and six inches high. And my screen is jumping around all over the place today and I don't know why. Now again, just for the video, I'm going to change the colour on this. I'm going to make the, the fill black. Okay. I'm going to put this on top of here just to see if it roughly looks how I want it to be. And it does. So I'm going to select both. Go to align, centre and horizontal, so I know they're now both centred, and do path, combine, and that's now give me a different pennant. Now if I select both of these and align them centre and vertically, 
you'll see that the holes line up and they line up perfectly. So we can take that a step further. What I would do now, I would save this file as a template and then import the SVG template into Canvas and save it in there. And then you've got it saved as an SVG and you've got it saved as a cutting file. And then you can call it up at any time and do whatever you want with it. So you might want to cut a letter out of something like this. So if we go to our text icon and I'll just try and find a stencil font. There you go, I've got stencil. I'll just type a letter H for now. And then I'm just going to resize it. While it's selected, because it's a font, we've got to do path union. Then I'm going to position that in there. Select both. I'm going to do path difference. There you go. So you could make yourself a whole set of bunting that have got a solid background with just a letter. And if you use the stencil fonts, they, they work better for if you're doing things like happy birthday where you've got circles in the B's or in the E's, that kind of thing. So a stencil font works better. I'm just going to undo that. So that's one way. Then if I come over to this one and just deselect because I don't want to change anything here. Select the text font and this time I'll just use impact. Select impact and I'll type a H again. And because it's a letter, we've got to do path union. Resize this, position it. When you're doing letters like this, you've got to make sure that your edges, at least your top and your bottom edges, overlap this inner triangle here but not coming out beyond here so not like that's very exaggerated but not like that so just overlapping this inner space move that out of the way select everything this time you do path union and if I go into view display and normal you'll see it's when welded so just go back to normal view so if you're doing your letters on a solid shape like this, it's you, you type your letter, do path union, then position it and it's path difference. If you're welding a shape onto a frame like this, so something that's transparent in the middle, it's path union. So I'm just going to undo that and get rid of that. Now, um, we'll go to... A different font so we'll come up here and we'll use Saru's flower ding and I can never remember what letter so oh there you go so capital letter A now because I'm going to do this on this one and I'm going to path union it anyway to weld I don't necessarily have to do it so I'm going to position that there duplicate it put one there so it overlaps duplicate that Attach that one to that one, here and here, and then duplicate again. This is only very quick, just to show you. And then there, join that one there to that one, so they all link. And then I'm going to select this one and do another duplicate and put that one up there. Okay, select everything and do path union. And again, if we go to view, display, outline you can see they're all welded just go back to regular view and again what you could do you could layer that on top of that one and you could have that kind of double effect so you could have this top layer in one color and the back layer in a different color and because you've lined up the holes originally they'll always line up so that's how to use Saru's flower ding but you could do anything, you could, you know, you could probably do the series flower ding on this, so we'll just try it. Okay, we'll come back to the text icon. We're still on series flower ding, we'll type a capital letter A. We'll bring it up here, we'll duplicate it, and we'll put another one here, and we'll duplicate that, and we'll put another one here. We'll select everything. 
and we'll do path combine. Okay, now because we've used a dingbat just to be on the save side before we save this, we'll do path union because you usually have to always have a union on your fonts or dingbats before they'll open in Canvas. <clears throat> so that's just to be on the save side. So that's a couple of options. Um, if you follow my blog, I posted a picture a few weeks ago of one that I did that had snowflakes. Um, I'll just try and find it. I can't remember what it's called, but we'll just have a look. Oh, there we go. It's DH Snowflakes. So again, you know, you can, that's a capital letter A. You could, you know, resize these, drag these out and use snowflakes on here. Anything really. It, you don't have to do this where you put letters or anything in this filled in one but it's just a, di a different option showing you how you can use the different techniques um, in Inkscape. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.